Today it's round three of resin versus filament. Today's category is the printer cost. So far during the series, we have looked at the print quality and the print speed of resin and filament printers. The resin printer won in print quality and we called it a tie in print speed due to some circumstances between the two printers. Today, we're focusing directly on the cost of these printers and maybe one or two more. So the prices I'm gonna be giving you for these printers are taken from amazon.com. These printers can be found on many websites, not just Amazon. I'm using Amazon because that is where I purchase my printers from. A lot of people have access to Amazon and it's kind of a good place to compare the price of both printers, of both brands and other printers as well. They have, they have everything. So the first printer I got is the Ender 3. I bought it from Amazon on Oct in October of 2019 for $229. Uh, as of this morning, it's currently $189, a $40 difference. Uh, the next printer I got, I actually got my Ender 3 V2 and my Seer 10 at the same time, January of 2021. The Ender 3 V2 I bought for $259 and as of this morning it was $249. And I bought the CR10 for $369. As of this morning it's $359. So both of those are about a $10 difference from when I bought them a year ago. Um, not a huge difference, but still a difference. Next, let's talk about the resin printer. I bought my Elegoo Mars first generation off Amazon in May of 2020. And I bought it for $259. Uh, looking up this morning, the Elgu Mars one, I cannot find on Amazon available. So here is the current price of the Elgu Mars two. And the next gen, next one up, they've got Elgu Mars, Mars two, Mars three, the Mars Saturn, the Mars Jupiter's coming out uh, soon. I know they're in pre-production right now, but uh, this is the current price of the Mars, 289 for the Mars two off Amazon. Uh, a little bit better printer, a little bit more money. On top of that, I also looked up for you an AnyCubic Photon. It's comparable to the Elgo Mars. Those are two of the main resin printers that people use when they start out. Usually it's the Elgo Mars or the AnyCubic that's recommended for a beginning resin 3D printing person. So with that information, we're gonna look at the Elgoo Mars or the Anti Cubic Photon, both you can get around 260 to 290 if you go for the Mars 2, and the Ender 3, which is currently 189. So, based on that information, I'm going to say the filament printer wins. You can get an Ender Mars 3 for 189 as of right now. Now, that's just these printers. If you go on Amazon or online and type in uh, printers under $100, you're going to find a bunch but you're gonna get what you pay for. Uh, I'm saying these ones, I'm basing on these ones because these are the good baseline printers that you ask, you go on Reddit, you go online and ask, what's a good starter printer? And these are the ones that are recommended. The Ender, the Elgoo Mars, the Anticube Photon, uh, MakerBots, there's, there's some other ones out there that people like. Uh, my mom's a teacher, she's got a flash forward for her class. There's, there's printers all over the place, and they're all good, but we're looking at this category, printer cost, a filament printer will generally be, generally be cheaper than a resin one. So today, in our round three of resin versus filament printing, filament printers win. Using these printers as our baseline, an Ender 3 is currently $60, $70 cheaper than an Anticubic Photon or an Elgoo Mars. And yes, there are plenty of other printers out there, but you're gonna get what you pay for. These are the ones that are recommended by the community for good starter printers. They're easy to deal with. 
So we're giving this win to Filament. So the score currently stands at Resin 1, Filament 1, and a tie in round 2. Uh, the next video we're making will be on material costs and consumables. They both have a couple things you need to replace. Look at those. If you like this video and this content and want to see more, please subscribe down below and like this video. If you have any questions or want to know how they compare on another subject, comment below. And I'll see if I can get that thrown into this contest. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching Think About Your Crafts. Uh, have a good day and come back and see us.